buying all of these and then being able to use all of these <laughs> I'm just so excited, you know? All of these packages and then with all my pens in my pencil cases. Best feeling ever. Okay. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Princess. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a back to school school supplies haul video anyways as you can see nandito sa harap ko ang daming school supplies kasi nung nasa america ko I, I, i was there for like almost two months or two months and collectively i was buying school supplies kasi medyo na excited ako hindi Lagi naman ako na-excite pag school supplies yung pinag-uusapan syempre sa target sa amazon sa walmart tj max and other American stores na wala dito. Meron sila mga gamit na wala dito. So yun, collectively, bumili ako ng mga gamit doon. Tapos pagbalik ko dito sa Pilipinas, bumili ulit ako dalawang trips to National Bookstore. Yung isa kanina lang pumunta kami. So, okay, na-excite na ako kasi finally, makakagawa na ako ng sarili kong back to school video. Kasi lagi ako nanonood ng back to school videos kahit dati pa. And I'm finally gonna be able to do one on my own. So, without further ado, let's just get started. And dami, I don't know where to start. Okay, I'll start with my tumblers. So, I got two tumblers. By the way, sa iba-ibang store ko nabili itong mga to. So, sabihin ko na lang din kung saan ko sila nabili. Kung interested kayo, malaman kung saan ko nabili. So, the first one is this pink one. Na, ano yung color? Patayin ko kaya flashlight. Okay, I think that's okay. Ito yung first tumbler. Insulated siya. And tawag dito, Freedom 20-ounce bottle from Yukon Outfitters. And um, nabili namin to sa Bucky's nung nag-stopover kami nung nasa Texas. Tapos ito, gagamitin ko siya for my water. Para malamig yung water ko all day, every day. And then, my second tumbler is this one. Ito naman, para sa coffee. And it has the puffle puff thing. Pero hindi ko alam yung tawag kasi hindi naman ako nanonood ng Harry Potter or nagbabasa ng Harry Potter. But yeah, anyway, hindi ko siya binili because of the puffle puff thing. I bought it kasi color yellow siya and I'm going to UST. Yellow din yung color ng UST. And I got this sa uh, Universal Studio si Tita bumili. So, thank you, Tita. Yung mabigat, ito. Short bond paper na isang rim. Very necessary, very essential to students. <laughs> Next, sponsored by Best Buy ba to? Ang daming poor Best Buy. As you can see, poor Best Buy. Pati yung yellow pad ko, poor Best Buy. <laughs> Index cards muna. So, I got this one na 4x6. Tapos, 100 sheets na siya. Nabili ko sa National Bookstore. And then, next, dalawang 3x5 na index cards. Actually, hindi ko alam na 100 sheets isang pack. So, dalawa kinuha ko. Tapos, nalaman ko lang na 100 sheets pala kada pack nung pag-uwi na. So, ngayon, I have 200 3x5 index cards. Okay. Yung mga pad paper, uh, isang pack ng one-fourth. Tapos dalawa na yung laman niya. Next, lengthwise, 21.75. Tapos dalawa na rin. And then, crosswise, this was 27.50. but mas mahal? Pareho lang naman kayong kalahati ng, one, ng intermediate, ah. Ba't mas mahal? D dalawa na rin siya. And then, intermediate pad. Dalawa din talaga to. Kaso kinuha na ng kapatid ko yung isa. Tapos may isa pa akong intermediate pad. Extra ko to from last year. And this one is from Expressions. Expressions. Basta yun. Expressions. Okay. So, naghahanap kasi ako ng construction paper. Tapos, naghahanap ako ng magandang color na construction paper. Ito yung pinick up ko. Hindi pala siya construction paper. It's board paper. Na color. So, maybe I can use this for like decorating stuff. And the color is nice. So, guys. Ano pala? I'm gonna do a back-to-school supplies giveaway soon, so stay tuned for that. Next is graphing paper from National Bookstore as well. And then ito, nakahanap ako ng construction paper talaga. 20 sheets, assorted color. That's yung yellow pad. Na-excite ako. May sarili na akong yellow pad. This, oh my gosh. Hindi, ihuli ko to. Ihuli ko yung sobrang cute na yellow pad. So, dalawang yellow pad binili ko. 
isang higher quality one and then isang yung okay lang na price tsaka okay lang na quality. So, ito yung Best Buy. Mura lang siya, 46 pesos compared sa ibang yellow pad. Ito, 46 pesos. And then, this one was 58 pesos and this is the Veco brand. So, the reason why I bought two pads is because the nicer one, I'm gonna use this pagka magpapasa ng work sa teacher or sa prof. By the way, I'm an incoming grade 11 student. Okay, tas yung isa naman, yung lower quality na mas mura din. Ito yung gagamitin ko pag magsusulat lang ng notes, magko-compute for math, and mag-draft ng mga kung ano-ano. Next, ito yung cute. <laughs> Nalaman ko lang na meron na palang ganto na yellow pad kanina nung nanonood ako ng Back to School Supplies video. Merong isang YouTuber na meron siyang one-fourth na yellow pad. Nung pumunta kami ng national kanina, hinanap ko talaga. Legit, ang konti lang nung ganito. Mga less than 10 or 10 pieces lang. Tapos nakatago pa siya. Meron din atang crosswise, tsaka lengthwise. Pero hindi ako nakahanap. Ito pa nga lang, one-fourth na ang hirap na hanapin eh. I hope they make more of these, like, pre-cut yellow pad. Next, isa pang nabili ko pa kanina lang. Itong clipboard. And this is from the brand Venturer. And it's just a clipboard na may cover. Ang tawag pala dito, clip folder. Nakasabi dyan, no? Clip folder. Meron siyang pocket dito para lalagyan mo ng kung ano ng paper. So, plan ko dito. Dito ko ilalagay yung yellow pad ko para hindi siya magusot. Kasi ayoko nung nakafold yung yellow pad ko tapos yung corners ng paper, ano na, bended na siya. Bent? <laughs> bended? Bent na siya kasi nadadagan na ng ibang gamit tapos napapailalim sa backpack. Next, so, ito, I got this from Amazon for $12, $13. Just free shipping kasi ang dami kong pinamili. <laughs> so, book stand lang siya. It's a bamboo book stand. And the way it works, this thing, iaangat mo siya. Tapos ito naman, ibababa mo. <laughs> Sorry for my poor explaining skills. So, kung gano ka-elevated, pwede mo ma-adjust. Imo-move mo lang siya ng ganyan. So, ililink ko to sa baba kung meron sa, sa inyong interested na bumili. Tapos, ito naman yung tatayuan nung book mo. Para ma-hold yung page na binabasa mo, iaangat mo lang to metal pins na to. Tapos yan, sila na yung mag-hold ng page for you. And I got this book stand kasi una, pang motivate na rin magbasa ng libro kasi hindi talaga ako mahilig magbasa ng libro. Tsaka maayos din yung posture ko habang nagbabasa. Maganda siya tingnan sa desk kasi it's like wood and I like that parang aesthetic. Kung pupunta ka ng cafe or library to study, you can bring this with you kasi foldable siya and you can fit this inside your backpack. Next, I got stuff from Walmart. First, this is five, five, five subject notebook. <laughs> five subject notebook na color yellow. Tapos yun, may plastic dividers siya inside. 150 sheets, this college ruled, which I like. Next, yung isa pang notebook na last year ko pa nabili. Ito from Expressions din to. I'm not sure how much this was exactly. Pero I think mga ano lang siya, 100 something lang siya, mga 110 siya ganun. And it says, always look on the bright side and it's the Veco brand. May 10 fillers na siya. And what I like about this notebook, as you can see, wala siya nung pins, tsaka nung black na lock thing. Kasi ang gamit niya to hold the fillers together is garter. I recommend other people to get this type of binder notebook kasi sobrang dali niya. Sobrang dali niya talaga. Yung style ng binder na may pins tsaka yung may black na color ng lock dito. It's extremely hard to use and extremely easy to lose. Ang hirap magtanggal at magbalik ng fillers. Tapos dito naman, iaangat mo lang yung garter tapos hilain mo na yung filler or ibalik mo yung filler ng ganun. Plus, it's cheaper. And it's really good quality. Yung ganto ko last year, kasi ganto din yung ginamit ko last year. Hindi siya nasira at all. Tapos, may isa pa akong notebook. Hindi ko pa alam kung saan po gagamitin to notebook na to. Pero baka reviewer. So, ito, nabili ko nung March pa to. Nung pumunta kami ng Divisoria. Parang Muji style na notebook. Tapos, ang paper niya, gridded. Grid. Next, this one. Everybody knows what this is. This is plastic cover 
and we got this from National Bookstore. Next is this notepad that I got from TJ Maxx. But then you have a focus, dude. Okay, yeah, and ganyan it's really nice. May circles siya dito para jan mo it check kung natapos mo na ba yung work na yon. Tapos each line na yan, jan may susulat yung mga tasks mo. Tapos may magnet siya sa likod. Mm, yan. So next is this pencil case or pencil pouch that I got from Divisoria. This was very cheap. I think mga 20 pesos. And yun lang siya. Parang siyang ziplock. <laughs> Parang siyang ziplock. Tapos naglagay ako ng pens dito. Just black pens. Ano to? Gel pens. Nagaling Divisoria din. Next is another pencil pouch that I got from Divisoria as well. And I think this was around 30 pesos. And it's just this pink See through again. Kasi gusto ko yung see through. Makikita mo na. Hindi kahit hindi mo pa buksan, makikita mo na kung nasaan yung kukunin mo. Next, I got foot socks. Kasi sa uniform namin, foot socks na. Hindi na siya yung regular na ankle socks. Ang muna namin pinuntahan kasi H&M. So pumunta kami H&M. Nakita ko to. Tapos, pack of five foot socks. Tapos sa likod, Mayroon siyang garter para it stays on your foot and hindi siya nagsislip. Hindi makakain ng sapatos mo yung socks mo. Tapos, nung pumunta kami National Bookstore after mag H&M, nakita na namin tong Burlington na pack of three black foot socks. Honestly, mas gusto ko. Mas gusto ko to kasi yung silicone niya sa likod, mas, ano, isang malaking patch siya. So, ano talaga siya? Nagsistay talaga siya. Tapos, tinry ko pa nga mag maglakad-lakad dito ng suot yung foot socks. Tsaka yung, ano ko, school shoes ko. Tapos, ito, hindi talaga siya nag-slip off. Tapos, ito, nag-slide off na siya konti. And then, from Target, I got Crayola Super Tips. Tapos, ito yung 20 count. Nung nag-layover ako sa Japan, papunta akong America, meron silang Muji store. Tapos, bumili ako ng pens. So, yan, Muji. Bumili ako ng mga ball pen. Pumunta ako sa Muji store. Tapos, bumili ako ng sarili kong Muji pen. Kasi yung mga Muji ko, ano lang, yung mga napulot ko lang sa Lost and Found <laughs> ng pens. So, I decided, since maganda nga yung quality ng Muji pens, bumili na lang ako ng sarili kong pens. So, ito, blue-black yung color niya. And this is 0.38. Tapos, dalawang retractable na 0.5. Tapos, gel pen din to. Eh. One in black and one in pink. Tapos, from Amazon, again, I got a new scientific calculator. Kasi nawala yung scientific calculator ko. This one is the FX115ES+. Plus. This was on sale for $14 sa Amazon. And then, sticky note, na color pink. I got this one from National Bookstore. Next, I got Papermate Inkjoy Ballpoint Pens. Tapos, na-try ko na siya. Tapos, sobrang smooth. Oh my gosh. Sobrang smooth niya magsulat. Tapos, whoa. Whoa. Next, from Papermate as well, I got the Inkjoy Gel Pen. Originally, bibilhin ko dapat talaga yung malaking pack nito. Pero, nang hinayang mo ko yung spend yung sarili kong money. So, yung tatlo na lang binili ko. <laughs> Three count na lang binili ko. And this one, I got from Target. Next, I got two markers from Pilot. This one is permanent marker. And then, this one is a whiteboard marker. Next, I got two GTEC refills. And both of these are 0.4. Next, I got this one. It's just a Mongol sharpener. And it's a singular sharpener. Tapos, gusto ko yung may lalagyan. Gusto ko yung may lalagyan para hindi yung magtatasa ka na sa harap ka ng basurahan. And then, next, I got eraser from Stabilo. Then, I got this from National Bookstore. Next, I got masking tape. Oh my gosh, guys. We're almost done. Okay, next, correction tape. Okay, let me talk about this correction tape for a while, okay? This correction tape, even though I don't know what brand this is from, it says Twingo, Twingo. Yeah, correction tape. Ito na yung pinakamura na correction tape na makikita mo na worth it. Ayan yung roll niya. Makapal yung roll niya. Mga ganito din kalaki. And this was only 28.75. Tapos yung ibang correction tapes, kahit maliliit lang sila, tapos konti lang yung laman nila. 60 pesos na isa. Next, I got glue. White glue. Next, I got Pentel Energel RTX Roller Gel Pens. And this is in 0.7. So this was from Target. And last but not the least, definitely not the least. So this is... Nakikita niyo ata eh. Ayan. This is an iPad mini na bigay lang ni tita. 
Dolores, tsaka ni Tito Rob. Ito lang yung dadalhin ko instead of a laptop every day sa school. Yung laptop ko, iiwan ko lang. Kasi ang bigat na laptop ko. Also, ito yung version na may cellular. Yung padilagyan ng SIM. Baka lagyan ko siya ng SIM. Ewan ko. Baka masayang yung SIM kasi wala naman akong tinitext. Wala akong tinatawagan except for my parents. That is it. That is all that I have to show you guys. Yun yung mga school supplies na meron ako and I will be using for this incoming school year. So, I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed filming this. If you enjoyed watching this video please give this video a thumbs up share this video to your friends and um if you enjoyed it a lot maybe you can click the subscribe button and then support my channel i would really really appreciate it and bye bye